On October 1st, 2003, Christopher Poole, also known as Moot, launched what would go on to be known as the asshole of the internet. 4chan is an image message board where anyone can post anonymously. Due to the unrestricted nature of the posts, many devious incidents have been logged into the annals of 4chan. Here are a few of those stories. My name is Matt Jarbo, and this is Forbidden Knowledge. Number 5. Robert Hawkins The West Roads Mall in Omaha, Nebraska was rocked by a tragic shooting spree on December 5, 2007 at 1.43 p.m. The shooter was 19-year-old Robert Hawkins. His motive for the shooting was to commit suicide and take a few pieces of shit with him, and that he wanted to go out in style. Less than an hour before the shooting, at 12.58 p.m., Hawkins posted on 4chan's B-board and claimed that he was going to shoot up the West Roads Mall and go out in style. After claiming eight lives with an AKM assault rifle, Hawkins turned the gun on himself to claim one last victim. Number 4. Anon Tries to Livestream His Death At the end of November 2013, a 20-year-old college student by the name of Steven posted on 4chan that he wanted to and hero to a live audience. His post read, This is it. Tonight I will be ending my own life. I have been spending the last hour making the preparations, and I'm ready to go through with it. He then set up a stream on Chatine, and the chat room immediately filled with the maximum amount of 200 users, all egging him on to kill himself. He then popped several pills while drinking alcohol. A moment later, he lit his room on fire with this toaster. As his room filled with smoke and the webcam still rolling, firefighters knocked down the door, extinguished the fire, and carried Steven to safety. Steven lived but was dubbed Toaster Steve by the anonymous community in attendance that night. Number 3. The French Skull Fuck On June 5, 2007, an anonymous user on 4chan's random board wrote about how he had stolen a skull from the catacombs underneath Paris, and he was seeking advice on how to smuggle the skull back into the United States. In true anonymous fashion, proof was required, and when it was given, other users demanded that he skull fuck it. Anon delivered with several pictures of him penetrating the skull in different ways. There was never any update about whether or not he was able to bring the centuries-old skull back with him to the United States. Number 2. David Kalik and Amber Copland's Corpse In the morning of November 5th, 2014, pictures of Amber Copland, naked and presumably dead, began to appear in a thread on 4chan. The post read, Turns out it's way harder to strangle someone to death than it looks in the movies. Amber's neck had ligature marks indicating that she had been strangled with a cord or wire. David Kalik, the killer, then followed up his original post with check the news for Port Orchard, Washington in a few hours. Her son will be home from school soon. He'll find her, then call the cops. I wanted to share the pics before they find me. I bought a BB gun that looks realistic enough. When they come, I'll pull it and it will be suicide by cop. David then stole her car and drove it to Portland, Oregon, where he was apprehended the next day. When questioned about why he killed Amber, he said that he was drunk and she pissed him off. Why he posted the photos on 4chan, no one knows. Number 1. Emily Sanders' GPS Location On November 23, 2007, Butler Community College student and amateur porn star Emily Sanders was reported missing by her family. Six days later, a post appeared on 4chan's random board with the picture of Emily that had been circulated through the El Dorado, Kansas media. The post read, If anyone can guess their post number, I will tell you where she's buried. Minutes later, one user correctly guessed their own post number, and the original poster delivered with a GPS coordinate that pointed to a spot 50 miles east of El Dorado. A few hours later, local news reports began to surface confirming that Emily's body had been discovered right where the GPS coordinate said it would. Emily was murdered by 24-year-old Israel Morales, who stabbed her multiple times, then strangled her with a telephone cord. He is currently serving a life sentence in the Hutchinson Correctional Facility. It has not been revealed if he was the one who posted it on B or not. Thank you very much for coming with me on this journey through some of 4chan's history. 
If you haven't already, please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and post your favorite 4chan moment in the comments below. My name is of course Matt Jarbo, and be sure to tune back in next week for another exciting episode of Forbidden Knowledge.